Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on the Slam Lens, we're going to talk about clamps. The basic clamps and the ones that I love. So let's get started and see what we can do. Clamps. Now this is not super glamorous stuff to talk about, but it's the basics that we use every single day that we're on set. One of my listeners wrote in and said, tell me about clamps. So here you go. We're going to talk about the clamps, the clamps that everybody uses and a couple you might not have heard of before. The first clamp, everybody knows this clamp. This is an A-clamp. There's a lot of different names for this clamp, but A-clamp. It just clamps everything together. You buy them at the hardware store for like $3, maybe $4 at the most. That's the first clamp everybody should always buy. They come in this kind of medium size, a large one and a smaller one and some teeny ones. I use the tiny ones to clip uh, gels on the front of lights, uh, just like a, a clothespin, but a little, they're a little stronger than a clothespin. Use the smaller ones for pulling clothes behind someone's back, you know, to tighten up their shirt, to make them look a little bit more slim. This is the most all-purpose clamp that you'll ever see on set. Everybody has a whole rope with a whole string of these things. So the A-clamp. Now we're going to step up into a clamp that's going to cost us a little more money. It's called a super clamp. These are made by Matthews, by Venger, by Kupos. I mean, all kinds of companies make these. And there's different versions on a super clamp. It's basically a jaw that clamps, clamps in an offset fashion. So it'll clamp around a pipe very nicely. You tighten it up and then it's got a 5 8 inch spud on the top. And on this one, and you can change this out, you have a 3 8 inch uh, thread. So these are fabulous for it. You can put your camera on this, climb it to the ceiling put a GoPro on these things with a little mount. You can pull this out and put this on a C stand or a regular stand. It'll go right on a regular stand and just tighten this down and now you've got a grip there to hold a, a backdrop pole or something else you're gonna use. This is a version on the super clamp, but it's basically kind of the super clamp with the receiver to put onto a stand. Now you have a stand automatically. You've got a way to clamp a pole in here and you've also got yourself a 5 8 inch post in order to put lights and different things on the top of it. The advantage of this is that you can do two things with this at one time. You can run this on your C stand or regular stand. You can have a background pole here and you can put your background light right there. That's just one of a thousand different things you can use with this configuration. The next clamp is a Cardellini. A Cardellini is simply a post with a 5 8 inch receiver on it and jaws that clamp towards that post. Your twist goes on the back, twists up and you tighten yourself on your, on your pole wherever you're going to put this thing. Advantage of a Cardellini is that you have a single post and you're tightening that right into place. You can kind of get this into tighter places than some of these other clamps that have this big gripping thing. You gotta call it, get a hold of the handle on the back. This you can slide it up in there, get it over the pole, tighten it up from the bottom and it's very tight. So they're very easy to use in tight spaces, but they're a great clamp to look at and understand. The next one is a platypus. Platypuses are just great because they go like this. How could you not love a clamp that did that? But it's just fabulous for grabbing beadboard, reflectors, you set this onto your C stand just like that, hooks onto your beadboard. It just it gives you a longer, a wider area that clamps on the things and the ability to tighten it and to loosen it, uh, which is really a nice thing to do. The downside of a platypus is you have to have a C stand to use it. It's pretty hard to use otherwise because it doesn't have any way to attach it to a regular stand. It's just got your 5 8 inch post, but you gotta have a C stand to be able to use it to make it very effective. Now, this is made by Kupo. It's basically the same concept as an A clamp but with the ability, an adjustment here, that allows you to change the grip. You can either make the grip smaller or larger. You can get this large enough to clamp onto a two by four and some larger bites. So that's what it's made for, to get this to bite it on something larger that you want to put it on around a, a larger pole, a two by four, some big area you want to clamp onto, but gives you two five eighths inch areas that you can clamp a light to, either down below it if you're going to clamp, or out the back, which gives you two different places to attach. So this is an interesting clamp, more of a specialty clamp, but definitely a useful one. This is an old grip clamp forever. This is actually a newer version, a new one, but this is just a C-clamp. A C-clamp that goes on to whatever surface you try to clamp that onto, but it's got two different spots you can put your uh, lights on because it's got two 5 8 inch uh, posts on it. The biggest downside of these things is that I find them hard. They're big. It's hard to get your hand in there and tighten these things in tight areas. And they also, they, they slip. They roll like this if you they kind of pull on it, it starts to roll around unless you really clamp this thing hard. Whereas some of these other have rubber and things on that kind of hold it in tight. This is more muscle. This is like muscle grip equipment, this guy here. Uh, and this is small, they get them bigger. I mean, they're huge ones. Put big lights on them. And, but they're really an effective uh, tool, but just a tough one to use. So that's the C-clamp light hanger. This is a chain vice grip. It's just a vice grip, and the vice grip has a chain that goes around it. 
That chain now you can wrap around big stuff. You can wrap this around a couple of poles. You can wrap it in bigger areas. I use chain vice grips to stabilize things all the time. If you've got a post or a slider that's on a long run, you can take a C-stand, lean it against the slider or against the stand that's holding the slider, and it's on a 45 degree angle, wrap it with a chain vice grip, lock it down, and then you put a sandbag on it, you've stabilized yourself. So these are great to tie things together that aren't exactly parallel, but they're big and they're heavy. They're, they're just a big piece of equipment to haul around. So not an easy thing to use a lot of times. So if I was going to put together my beginning kit of all these kinds of clamps, this is what I'd do. I would put 10 A clamps, three of the super clamps, and one platypus. And the reason being is this, 10 A clamps just to clamp everything. You can do anything you need to with them. Then you have three of your super clamps, two to hold up a backdrop, one to use for a light, two to use together, gives you some combinations with those three, put a light up at the ceiling, hang and drop, just gives you a nice combination, you need at least three of them. And then one platypus, that platypus is gonna hold your beadboard, it's gonna hold your foam core, it's gonna hold some kind of reflector for you. So you got 10 A clamps, three of your super clamps, and one platypus, a great kit to start out. Now if I were to sneak one other clamp in there, it'd probably be a couple of the cartellinis because those are pretty amazing. So there you have it, a good look at clamps, the ones that I would use and kind of the basic clamps. I learned this also, do not do this on your nose because ah, it hurts like crazy when you do that. So don't do that. So there's a look at clamps. Keep those cameras rolling, keep on clicking. The giveaway's about to close. 31 winners, $5,000 worth of stuff. Get over there quick, sign up. Hey, for everybody out there who loves the Sun Lens, we finally got Keep On Clicking t-shirts. So go to thesunlens.com, click on the store. There's four versions, check them out. You'll love one of them. Pick up one today. Hello, Ebenezer, I'm the ghost of bad photos past. If you would subscribe to The Slanted Lens, you wouldn't be haunted by bad photos of the past. You'd learn how to light and do the things you need to make wonderful photographs. So subscribe today, Ebenezer, subscribe!